Hey sis, so I was trying to do this live, but my connection is tripping. So I decided to turn this into an IGTV video, which is fun because it'll be here forever. So I wanted to respond to any thoughts, questions, or concerns you may have about a post that I put up a little while ago that said, if God has ordained it, no devil in hell can destroy it. So I know that I got a comment from a young lady about wondering if God had ordained it. She was requesting a prayer of reconciliation. My response to her was, based on what you're telling me in this comment, I don't know if God actually was in it or not. So as I walked around, I took a little walk. I thought about it. I heard from God some more. He gave me three chunks of scriptures to send you to so that you could confirm whether God has actually ordained the relationship that you're in or the one that you desire to be in is truly of God or not. Number one, the greatest commandment will be in fulfillment. I'm also going to be sending an email about an email out with all of this detail. So you want to make sure that you're on my mailing list. Go to saritafoxworth.com. Get on my mailing list. I'm going to email you this in greater detail because um, I only have 10 minutes per video. And I think I might make this two parts to make this point. So number one, the greatest. Um, commandment will be in fulfillment. What is the greatest commandment? To love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. The second unto this is to love your neighbor as you love yourself. So therefore, is the love of God being expressed in and through your relationship in accordance with the word of God? In other words, are you loving him with the true love of God? And is he loving you with the true love of God? Now, the supplemental scripture that goes along with this one is going to be found in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 4 through 8, because that is the true definition of love. Love is not about your emotions. Love is not about your hormones. Love is not about how you feel about that person and vice versa. Love is an action word. Now, you always want to examine if the love of Jesus Christ is present in your relationship between them and you. So if you're describing to me your relationship and it's filled with drama or it's filled with abuse, whether it's verbal, emotional, mental, does not matter. Any type of abuse is not coming from a person that is filled with the love of Jesus Christ because if they were, they would not be abusing you. Only somebody that is demonically oppressed would think it's okay to abuse a woman. It is never okay. So therefore, the love of God is not there. If there's a, if there is um, things taking place in the relationship that cause you to be drawn away from God, cause you to be be confused about what God has said to you, cause you to be confused about what the Word of God says, causes you to do things and operate in a manner that opposes the Word of God, then that means the love of God is not there. Because why would God go against Himself? He went in. So you want to examine is the love of God actually there based on what the Bible defines as the love of God. The second way to tell if a relationship is ordained by God or not is if the great commission is being fulfilled in your lives as you are in a relationship together. Now, I am speaking to kingdom-minded women of God. And because you are kingdom-minded, you care about the heart of God and the mind of God. And you care about pleasing him and doing the things that are going to bring him great joy. Souls are priority in the kingdom. All of the things that is that we have got distracted by in this generation, the things that take our time and consume our effort and energy is very unfortunate because priority is souls in the kingdom of God. God wants a family. His family is increased when we are fulfillment in fulfillment of our purpose, listening to and submitting to God and reaching and saving souls to glorify him. So as you are in a relationship with a man of God, you both should still be winning souls and reaching hearts and touching lives for the glory of Jesus Christ. Now, if you are distracting each other from fulfilling the Great Commission... If the relationship has you in so much turmoil and confusion, has your emotions so bound, has your mind so twisted, you cannot minister to nobody, pray with nobody, touch anybody's lives, minister Jesus Christ, then it is not a relationship that is ordained by God. Because why would God want you completely consumed and distracted with a man that you cannot focus on being the woman he has called you to be and fulfilling the assignment that he has on your life? He went. Now, the third scripture that I want you to go to to figure out if something was ordained by God is found in Galatians 5, 22 to 23. That is the fruit of the spirit. The fruit of the spirit is called just that for a reason. To tell whether the spirit of God is present in any situation, you want to examine the fruit of what is taking place there. The fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, temperance, meekness, um, <clears throat> what else? The seven fruit of the spirit, self-control. 
Now, if your relationship is filled with uncontrollable lust, you just have to have sex. You can't wait until you're married. The fruit of self-control ain't there and neither is the spirit of God. I know you might not want to hear that, but it is just a fact of the statement, okay? If the fruit of the spirit that is peace is not there, there's no peace. There's red flags. Your discernment is kicking in. You're stressed out. You don't trust him. You don't know where he is. You don't know what's going on with him. The 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 fruit of the spirit that's peace is not there. Whether the issue is with you having issues or with that man that's pulling those things out of you, the peace of God is not there. It is not a relationship ordained by God. There should be peace. There should be joy. There should not be anybody abusing you, tearing you down, destroying you, you as a woman, causing you to second guess yourself. Where is the joy? There is no joy that is present. Now, again, I'm not talking about just emotions. Happiness is an emotion. Joy is something that is internal. Joy is something that is birthed from the spirit of God. Joy is something that is stable and solid. Happiness up and down, gone with the wind. One day you're happy, one day you're sad. Joy is something that is long lasting because it is something that is embedded in your spirit. And if somebody steals and takes your joy, you have a hard time. Um, getting to the place of happiness, the fruit of the Spirit ain't there. That's not a relationship that's ordained by God. So check those three scriptures, okay? Make sure that you check the great command, the greatest commandment, the great commission, and the fruit of the Spirit. Also go with the supplemental scriptures that I've also given you as well. This is how you would tell if a relationship was ordained by God. Now, if you say, okay, Sarita, well, I was in a situation that was not ordained by God. Now I'm struggling to get over him. I'm struggling to let him go. I'm struggling to move forward and get my life back on track with God. That is why I have created the Healing and Restoration Coaching Program. I want you to go to the link in my bio and click on Healing and Restoration Coaching Program and allow me to help you. Allow me to help you to break the soul time to get your life back on track with God to get refocused on God to completely let go of that situation and that person since if he was abusive to you in any way if he caused you to doubt who you are as a woman if he caused you to have low self-esteem or insecurity he is not from God as a matter of fact I believe he was sent by the devil on a mission to destroy you thank God he didn't now there's an opportunity for us to work together and for me to mentor you pray with you coach you as well as for you to be surrounded by a group of like like-minded women in the support system to help you get to the place of healing and restoration. Restoration means that you are going to be made whole and then be put put into a better position than you were before that man came into your life. So you need help beyond just severing soul ties. You need help beyond just breaking a soul tie. You need help with healing. You need help with wholeness. You also need to be restored in your faith so that you will know that God has somebody much better for you. That God still has his best in store for your future. And that is what I am here to help you with. Go check out all the details. Um, right now there's an early bird price going on for the next seven days and I want you to sign up. I want you to sign up because I want to help you not to get caught up in a situation like this again. And most importantly, I want to help you to get yourself untangled so that you can be focused, whole, have peace, have joy, and be filled with faith for the amazing man of God that God wants to send you so that you guys can have a relationship that glorifies him, that leads to a marriage that is also going to glorify him, okay? If you have any questions about it, feel free to send me a DM. Payment plans are available as well. So just contact me. Send me an email though, not a DM. Send me an email if you want to inquire about a payment plan and we can work something out. Okay, so I hope to see you there. Bye.